Hey everybody, Mark here from Soulfly Concepts. Happy 2017. I hope your year is going wonderful so far. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to apply an alpha map, or an alpha channel, should I say, to your standard normal BMP textures. Um, a lot of people who use SketchUp are fairly happy, I'm, I'm one of them, who is fairly happy to just go ahead and make a PNG with no background, export it, save it, whatever, bring it into SketchUp, and it will do the job you want. Then, of course, Model Converter X, if you're building for Flight Sim, will take care of the rest. It will it'll apply the alpha channels to the textures as you go along. But today, I'm going to be showing you how to apply an alpha channel to a texture and save it as a BMP instead of a PNG. So let's go ahead and find a texture that we can, we can play around with. Um, what can we do? What can we do? Railing? That might work. Railing, perhaps? Yeah? That'll do. Railing. Simple. It's tiny. Don't like it. Get rid of it. Um, I don't know. What, 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 what should we do? We, um... What should we do? What should we do? Hey, that one will do the job. Tower base, why not? Now, this right here is just something I made for a tower. You can see the shadow area in the middle here where the tower would sit, and there's a car park and whatnot around it. Now, this already has an alpha in a sense, because it doesn't have a background. But if it was to have a background, we'd make it black, won't we? Yes, yes, of course we will. So, go ahead. There you go, black background. Join that together. Okay, so now we have our image with a black background. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. But if we go over here, we see the layers. If we click on channels, we'll see blue, green, red, and of course RGB. If you click this one, you've got to have at least one channel active for it to be working here. So yeah, RGB. So if you have these two turned off, you can click on that and everything will come back on. Right, RGB. So red, green, and blue. If we click on this, a new channel, Photoshop will automatically assume you want an alpha, and it'll turn everything off. Turn them back on. Turn the alpha off, you see the image getting lighter and darker as I do, so it gets darker to turn it on, lighter to turn it off. Here is an overlay of black, very, very fine black overlay. We're just going to go ahead and turn that off for a minute. <laughs> Go back onto layers and get our selection magic wand. Just click there. Now, there's some areas here that need to be feathered, but we can deal with that in a second. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and show you exactly what's going to be going on here. I've already got it set to Annie Elise, which is feather, so that's perfectly fine. We've got the background selected, so we can go Control, Shift, and India, or I to invert the selection so we've only got the parking area selected. Click back on channels and turn the alpha on and press delete. As you can see here, our alpha channel has now become black around the edges and white. I will point out right now that the first time you ever use this alpha, you might have a different color in here. Just change it to black. That's all you have to do. And now we can go ahead and save the image as a BMP. So I'm breathing really heavily for some reason, I don't know why. That's better, isn't it? Okay, so TWR base and save. And 32 bit, we go to advanced mode, have a look at that. It's alpha 1, R5, G5, B5. Back to basic mode, that's absolutely fine. Press OK. Now this little program here is called DXT BMP. And we're just going to go ahead and use it to check our alpha. So this is the one we just made with the black background. Just drag it in. And we can see the alpha channel has been applied correctly. Go to preview transparency. Yeah, there's a bit of a feather issue here, which I discussed earlier. But everything else has taken shape the way we want. So that's how you create alphas. That was nice and quick, wasn't it? So yeah, there you go. In order to create an alpha channel, 
what you have to do is just apply one in Photoshop and save as a BMP at 32 bit. And boom! There's your alpha. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mark from Sawfly Concept Scenery. Um, have a fun one. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Seriously, if you need anything at all, just go ahead and comment. And, um, well, yeah. In the next video, I will see you all. Bye-bye.